Hello, my beautiful Taurus friends. My name is Donna Wilder Hart. This is my channel, Irish Donna Tarot. We are here to do a love reading for you. There will be an extended also to delve into the messages more deeply. Right now, I have decided for the rest of the year to run a contest giving away four video readings per month. It's super easy to enter and find out if you've won. All the instructions are below in the description box as are my personal reading opportunities and offerings. All of that information is below in the description box. Let's get started with your reading, Taurus. Your energy combined with the energy of your person in the recent past is the Ten of Pentacles, a legacy relationship, one in which there's loyalty, one in which there's a desire to create abundance. It's Virgo energy. It's two people who are willing to do the work. It's children. It's family. It's it's Taurus, excuse me, it's Virgo energy. You're both willing to do whatever is required to create a beautiful, safe home environment for your entire family. Grandparents, parents, dogs, cats, children, yourselves. <laughs> it's really nice. It's a marriage card also in the Tarot. Currently, ooh, look at what's going. What's going on with this? The Six of Swords, you've moved away from something that feels very painful. This is Aquarius energy. There's something that has come to light. Something that your person thinks is problematic. So when we look at the Two of Swords energy, you can see the birds pulling at her hair. Your person doesn't want to deal with something right now. So we're going to have to dig in and see what this is all about. Your person feels as though you may be nitpicking them. They feel as though they're not ready to make a decision about something. There may be talk of moving for some of you. Quite literally, the Six of Swords can be moving away to a better place. With everything the way it is today, I think there's a lot of that sort of discussion going on with people. So let's see how they view you, Taurus. How does your person view you? Aw, they view you as brokenhearted. They see you as somebody who's trying to heal. This can be a card of exhaustion. It can be a card of physical um, illness or exhaustion. So it does show that right now your person's worried about you. Okay, so it's been a little bit tough for you, for many of you. Okay, how does your person feel in their heart space for our beautiful Taurus friends? In their heart space, beautiful. They view you as their future. They view you as the only answer that they want. They have already chosen you. They feel as though you're this beautiful spirit who brings um, an adventure, a sexiness, a future. You bring joy into their life. They feel as though they can really count on you. You are a light in the darkness to them. Look at what they're going to do. This is the Ace of Coins. That is a substantial offer. This Ace of Coins represents an engagement ring when paired with the correct other cards when we see them. If I see them, I'll tell you. Of course, I will. All right. What the hidden energy is, is between the two of you is that you tend to work very well together. You tend to be able to collaborate, get things done at a practical level. So we have Virgo energy, we have Aquarius, we have Libra, we have Aries, we have um, Libra again, we have Earth sign, and we have Capricorn. Look at this. Spirit is saying that both of you have to release some old wounds. It looks as though there might have been an argument in the recent past, something that has hurt one of you or both of you very um, intensely. The Ten of Swords is when you have Ten Swords in your back, and this is the Spirit is saying, don't put any swords in anybody's back. Walk away from the temptation to do so. Be very careful about the decisions you make right now in your relationship. Leave that sort of energy behind. Do not get involved in intense conflict. It's going to put in the relationship is what Spirit is saying. Your outcome is Leo energy. This is the Leo King, the King of Wands. It's a good outcome. It really means that both of you are coming into this energy of problem solving. And look at this. This is healing wounds. This is this is the 
the card of reconciliation. If you've been apart, if one of you left and is coming back, if you separated for any reason, your outcome for this reading is that the two of you will get back together again. It does look like there's either been a breakup for some, or it looks as though there could be a separation due to the world circumstances of today. So hold on one second. You're going to like what you see next. All right, there you go. There is your table view of the cards. I know that all of you enjoy this. So we're going to clarify the cards now with the Light Seer's Tarot. Clarify the Light Seer's Tarot. All right, so let's see. What is this Ten of Coins about? Oh my goodness, we have Virgo energy. You're searching for answers. Both of you are searching for answers. So if this was a marriage, both of you are look, appear to be alone in this energy. You feel as though you're alone within the parameters of a marriage that is supposed to nurture your heart and soul. Hermit energy, it's almost like two fighters in a ring who've gone off to their own corners to try to figure out how to make this work out, how to win, but as a team. All right, look at this. The Emperor card is beautiful energy. I like the energy of the Emperor. The Six of Swords says that maybe one of you had to precede the other in a physical move of some sort. The Emperor is also about the ability to be very strategic. Both of you share this energy. You want to problem solve. So that is a very, that's a good card. That's Aries energy. It's taking action, the sharp end of the spear. Now, the two of swords, something that your person doesn't want to think about is what they feel for you, interestingly enough, because here we have the three of wands clarifying, you know, the two of swords. The three of wands says that your person wants to see you. Why do we have this energy here? of the Three of Swords, King of Wands. It really looks as though the two of you have been separated by circumstances. Here's the cards that flipped over. The King of Pentacles energy is here also. So we have a lot of men here. So for those of you who are single, your person does not think you're necessarily choosing them. So I see two different storylines going on. I will... Um, say what I see each storyline is. This is like a buffet table. Take what's yours. Leave the rest, as you all know. As you all know. And energies can be vice versa, okay? So now we have, we go from this strategic energy on moving forward very carefully in your relationship. That's shared energy. This is shared energy. Now when we look at the Two of Swords, your person's viewpoint is that circumstances are not yet ready to make a decision. You already know what you want. Your person knows what they want in their heart space and they want you, Taurus. They want to take action and they want stability in the relationship with the King of Pentacles energy. But here's the thing. This also has another meaning. For those of you who are single seeking to be married, your person may be thinking about the fact that you have other options. It also means that they may have other options. When I get this many masculine energies in a reading, it's quite stunning, actually. I rarely get this. So for those of you who are single, and even possibly those of you who are married, you may be in a situation where you're separated and one of, you know you're both dating or one of you is dating. So it's kind of a complex story, but take what's yours, leave comments below. Let's see what we have here. Also, we have the Ace of Swords. So the Ace of Swords, the Ace of Truth, Taurus, is that you feel as though your person has other options. Look at we have 3, we have 3. This typically means that they've chosen you, but in some cases that will not be the case. And the reason I say that is we have the Four of Swords energy. So let's go ahead and see why we have this Three of Wands here. Why do we have the Three of Wands here? Look at this. This is the wow. Okay. 
your person feels it's time to go to a better place in their life as an individual. Your person feels as though maybe it's time for them to move on strategically. Why is Taurus hurting so much in this reading? Why does your person view you as broken hearted? Because you love them. You love your person. You love your person. That is the truth of the matter. Why does, why are all of these kings here? Why do we have so many kings here for our beautiful Taurus people with their person of interest, the person they love? The moon card. There's a lot that's hidden. This looks like for some it could be a marriage in which one party had a lot of affairs and it's just come to the light that you went along in a marriage that you thought was happy and only to find out that your partner Taurus had many affairs. So Taurus, tell us about this Emperor card more, please. Yep, here we go. We have lying, lying, cheating, stealing, sneaky Pete energy, somebody who was very strategic. Why is the Emperor here next to this energy of deception, next to this energy of having to move forward after very bad times? The Ten of Cups, interesting. So it does look like, as I'm looking at this, it does look like you are married to this person or you are in a long-term commitment with this person. Why is the Seven of Swords here for your partner? I get the Three of Coins. Somebody that they may have worked with, they may have had communication with. Oh, wow, there's all of this. Okay, we haven't had the Two of Coins or the Three of Swords. But to me, this looks as though, Taurus, you may have found text messages. You may have found that your partner has lied to you on numerous occasions. It does look like for most of you, this is a very, very committed relationship. We have three marriage cards here. If you are married to your person, they could have had an affair with another person. It's still... I mean, it's really pretty clear that that's happened, but the cards that would make me more comfortable would be Two of Coins. But the Ten of Swords is here, so that is a betrayal. Spirit is saying there's a betrayal. Okay, so is this a betrayal? Did Taurus's partner betray them and have multiple affairs? Yes, okay, remorse and regret. So, Taurus, your partner has remorse and regret for player energy. There we go. There we have it. The death card. The relationship has ended or it's about to end. If it doesn't heal, we have the death card. Okay. Taurus. Oh, okay. So let's look. Why is the three of wands here again for how they feel in their heart space about you, Taurus? The Ace of Coins. They're, they're wa they want to make an offer to make things better. Here it is again. Look at all this redundancy. We have the Three of Wands, the Three of Wands. Looking into the future, your person knows what they want. You're wounded. One of you feels backstabbed or both of you feel backstabbed. So it does appear that maybe in this relationship, your partner feels that they had a grievance against you. Queen of Wand Queen of Pentacles energy is clarifying. This does say that this is a mommy card. Your person doesn't want to hurt you, but they clearly did. Your person's trying to manifest you back. Wow. Well, this is quite that would be hard to forgive. Sorry. I don't like this. Ooh, that's too much. So, the Magician card. Why is the Magician card here for our Taurus friends? Your person feels as though they should look into the future, that they might not have a choice. They're trying to manifest you back, but they're ready for a new beginning if that's how it comes down. There's another card that flipped out here. Five of Cups. Oh, 
All right, so let's see why we have the three of coins here. Now we have the three of coins. Okay. Both of you love each other. Both of you want a victory in love. That's what's hidden. What does this Ten of Swords mean for Taurus? Your person is being very cold towards you. You're both trying to come up with a solution to see if you can save this relationship or marriage. Why is the King of Wands here? There is a possibility that Taurus, your lover, your husband, your wife, whatever the energy is, could have Leo in their chart. They could have Taurus in their chart. They could have Pisces. All the signs are here on the board, so it literally could be anybody. The Justice card indicates a possible divorce or that you may be coming to a settlement for a divorce. The Justice card is usually paperwork. It could be that you're separating temporarily for some of you. Why else is Temperance card here? That's working out the details. Oops, so here we go. The Hanged Man. Both of you are trying to look at this from a different perspective. Here we go, the Two of Coins. There it is. Okay. You're still spying on each other. Taurus, unfortunately what I'm seeing here is that you may be very much in love with your person and yet you and you may want to make it work. Your person looks as though they violated beyond a, your wildest imagination. The potential is that this person was very nefarious. They have remorse and regret. This person loves you. They want to make an offer. They're trying to manifest you back. But this is a tough reading. This is a tough reading. I'm not so sure that you're, you know, you're willing to do this because this is a card that says, I'm giving up. That's you. That's how I feel, Taurus. This is Scorpio energy. We have the death card here, Scorpio energy. There's a lot of Scorpio energy in this reading. Okay. So now I'm going to use a different deck. It's the Heart of the Fairy Oracle. And I want to look at the energy for you, Taurus, of your partner. What is the energy of Taurus's partner in this reading? Give us the Fairy Oracle answer. Heart of the Fairy Oracle. Let's see what we have. Tell us something about this partner that has been, appears to have violated so much trust, so dramatic. The returning. This person wants to return to you. Okay. The Queen of Hearth and Home. That's who you are. Taurus, you are the Empress card. Queen of Hearth and Home is very Empress. Of two minds, you really don't know whether you should do this or not. The Lord of the Forest is who this person was to you in your marriage. The two of you had a very good marriage. We're still getting a lot of secrecy around your person, though, Taurus. There's so much that's gone unanswered. Oh, no. Oh. This person that you were in relationship with, when we get the oh no card, we see somebody who's a troublemaker, who really doesn't have the capacity not to be almost, um, this is a trickster. This is a trickster. One of the tricksters. This person has always been a trickster. It's part of their persona. That's really very strange. Not so much, right? I mean, it's not really so strange. But this, oh no, is that's a trickster card. Oh no, don't look now, but look at what happened. Lady of the Unicorns, your person sees you as highly unique, highly desirable. They may have married you or had a relationship with you for status. For those of you who have done very well for yourself. But there's undeniable love here. There was at one time. So let's see what the advice is here in terms of, well, let's look at Lenormand and see if we can pull out information here. This looks very, very slippery for you. Taurus, my heart goes out to you. This is not a fun reading, I'll tell you that. 
Okay, tell us something about this person that you are married to. The lady, they see the best in you. They feel as though you're a wonderful person, Taurus. This is very nurturing energy. The Lenormand will usually reveal the whips. Okay, there we go. So when you came into this marriage, Taurus, look at the bottom of the deck. We have the man card. We have an anchor, somebody who really brought a lot of heaviness into your life. And we have the coffin, so the relationship looks as though it's dead. So what, what I have here, Taurus, is that you married somebody who was very nurturing. This person was very nurturing to you. They were able to give you a lot of affection and love. This person um, respected you. I think they genuinely loved you. I don't think there's any doubt. But this person was really hard on you. This person was very hard on you. Regardless of any other aspect of the relationship, whether they cheated, whether they didn't, this relationship means that they expected things from you that were unrealistic, that they may have put you down. The whips is a very painful relationship. But for me, I feel as though this person was a person that was, you know, always had secrets. Somebody who may be very depressed by nature. There's a lot of love here, though. But just because you don't, just because you love somebody does not mean that you can be good in a relationship with them. Let me look and see what this information is or what the Oracle um, says that you should do. This is the Oracle of Ancestors and Ancient Wisdom. Let's see what you should do here. Earth Mother. Feel loved and comforted. Okay. Tough to do, though. That's a tough card. I mean, how do you feel loved and comforted? So I do think there's probably two storylines. You know, there's one set of you that are separated by circumstances of a large nature. When I get this many men, you might be, you might have a spouse in the military who can't come home. And so that's why we have all these kings. They may be surrounded by kings. For some of you, it's going to be that this person really was a wonderful spouse, a wonderful lover, somebody who was very nurturing, but who had who just had the incapability or the lack of ability to stay faithful from some sort of a depression or something that within them, it's never your fault if somebody cheats on you. Take care of your needs, okay. So I am going to go to the extended right now. Let's look at the energy at the bottom of the deck. Oh, here it is. Look at, I forgot to look at this earlier. You were two of coins. That's juggling two people. That's the truth of the matter. The, king, the, the uh, king of pentacles energy is Taurus energy. Your person does love you. Look at this. The magician card again. The death card again. This is crazy. The four of wands. Your person loves you very much. You're the happiest. Oh my God, look at this. This is just crazy. So... All right, I'm going to need for all of you to tell me what is your story, because this is confusing, even to me, and I do a lot of complicated readings, but to me, I think for many of you, this may be the sort of thing where, like a Tiger Woods situation where you could be very loved, and yet you have somebody who has some sort of addictive behavior, but we didn't see the devil. Usually the devil is present. But what I see here is just a really tough love story. There's so much love. But, okay. So I am going to go to the extended and the uh, arching or the bridging energy. Is, where did it go? Here it is, okay. Is the Six of Pentacles equal give and take? A reconciliation. Look at this lover's card. Queen of Pentacles energy. So those are the bridging energies into the, the extended reading. If you want to go there, we will really look into what this is, okay? We'll look into it in a lot of detail. Your person's thoughts, feelings, intentions, actions, 
what is their blockage? What do they think of you? So let's see this. So Taurus, it's a very, very tough reading. I don't like going in this direction, but what we're going to do is it looks as though you truly land on your feet, okay? It does. It looks as though you're going to heal from this, you're going to recover from it. But let's take a look and see what this bridging energy is. Okay, it's a lover's card. It's soulmate energy. You know, somebody loves you very much. You love them. It's a reconciliation, somebody you've known a long time. And the Six of Coins, equal give and take. So let's go to the extended and see what's going on. There's a lot to unravel in this reading. This was, it's complicated. All right. Sending you love from Chicago. It's been a joy being with you today. If you like this video, please like, subscribe, share, comment, enter the contest. Thank you. Bye-bye.